Two. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to welcome you all, uh, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls I should say too because youth is involved in this celebration. Ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, I wish to welcome you to Mothman Oval and uh, for tonight's very special occasion and I'd like to introduce you to the chairman of the Mossman Centenary celebrations, Mr Barry O'Keefe. Would you please give him a big round of applause. Thank you, David. Mr. Mayor, Alderman Lopez, Madam Mayoress, the Honourable Peter Collins, MP, Minister for State Development and the Arts, Mr. Philip Smiles, MP, Minister, uh, Member for North Shore, the Honourable Michael McKellar and Mrs. McKellar of Warringah, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, is the culmination of a lot of planning. And I stand here feeling terrific because the orchestra's here, the weather's fine, and most importantly, you're here in droves to listen to what I hope will be a wonderful concert. But there's been a lot of work go into it, and I think it would be very remiss of me if I didn't acknowledge the tremendous effort that's been put into, into tonight by Mr. Kenneth Dryland and the Festival of Mossman Committee. And I'd like you to thank them, please. The concept of a concert, a prom concert, associated with our centenary arose early in the piece. And the idea evolved gradually. At first, we were going to have it in the town hall. But it would only hold 350 people, and that at a pinch. And then we thought, we'll have it outside. But to have it outside involved lighting and sound and stage, and that meant a lot of money. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight has been very largely possible as a result of Optus saying yes, which is a reverse of what we're asked in the advertisements. And I'd like very much to thank Optus and their management for coming to our party in Mossman and making this prom concert outside, which is of the essence of prom concerts, possible. So please say yes to Optus. <laughs> I'd like to thank also the members of the Mossman, Youth Orchestra, Mossman Orchestra and the Sydney Youth Philharmonic Orchestra who are performing this evening. Uh, obviously relatives over there. <laughs> Tonight I don't know what the program is. I was told that I wasn't allowed to know it because I might spill the beans. And we're very lucky tonight to have with us as our master of ceremonies that well-known operatic singer, that well-known man about town, Robert Gard, who will now take over the proceedings. Thank you, Robert. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming tonight. Good evening, everyone. I say everyone rather than ladies and gentlemen, because I'm sure there's a lot of families and children, and I'm really thrilled that the children are here to be what I call exposed to a night of wonderful music. Uh, I do feel a lot, lot of them are not always uh, exposed to what I call uh, the fair share of, of orchestral and, and vocal music. They only hear one kind, and they think that is music, and full stop. So it is wonderful to, to welcome the families here and the children. Now, I won't waft on too much. I'm just uh, very, very thrilled to be here. I'm a local lad, as, as you've just heard, and I'm here by permission of the Australian Opera. But the wonderful thing for me is that I don't have to sing tonight. I don't have to worry about my voice, and I don't have to memorize words. I've got it all sort of written down. So it's, it's, it's much more of a relaxed evening for me. Um, as I say, I'm wafting on, which I promised I wouldn't do. Uh, we have the two orchestras tonight. I mean, Mossman's really come up with something. Uh, very rarely will you, would you hear two. And the, I was told to tell you that the Sydney Youth uh, Philharmonic, their average age is 16 years, which I think is quite incredible. Uh, our conductor for tonight is Mr. Colin Piper, who is the resident conductor for both of these orchestras. And we have three wonderful soloists. We have uh, Fiona Ziegler 
violin who is from the, the famous family of Ziegler's, all wonderful violinists, their mother and her sister. And uh, she's here uh, as our first soloist tonight. We also have a young lady, Kirsty Hilton, who's also 16, who is going to play for you uh, in, in the later uh, half. And in the final half, I say final half because we have two intervals. There are actually three, three parts to the concert. We have uh, the dramatic soprano, Carol Ann Petherick, who also comes by permission of the Australian Opera. That'll be quite a thrill for you. Now, let's start the proceedings. And uh, we have music from many countries. We have music from England, Russia, France, and America tonight. And so England's getting the kickoff. Uh, we have a wonderful English folk song suite by Vaughan Williams. Now, Vaughan Williams was very much influenced by folk music throughout his whole lifetime. And uh, this was originally written for military band, I'm told, and to be played in the open air, which I think is a wonderful thing because that's just what we're doing tonight. But the only difference is it was reorchestrated for symphony orchestra, and it contains uh, folk songs from various parts of England, including 17 Come Sunday, which sounds very Cornish to me, My Bonnie Boy, and various Somerset songs. So may I introduce to you your conductor for this evening, Mr. Colin Piper.
Will you please give a, a warm welcome to our, our next orchestra, the Sydney Youth Philharmonic. Thank you. Thank you very much. As I said before, average age is 16 years, and uh, it is wonderful to see these young people so keen and, and training for a musical career. And I think uh, Mr. Colin Piper has a lot to be commended for, for his interest in young people in, in both these orchestras tonight. And uh, uh, I think, indeed, uh, he should, should have a hand for his interest in training these lovely young people. Colin Piper. Thank you. Now, we're starting this part of the proceedings with some music from Carmen by Bizet. Now, Carmen is probably very well, well known to most people, even if you're not an opera buff. soloist is the dramatic soprano Carol Ann Petherick. She is also by kind permission of the Australian Opera. Carol Ann was born in Edinburgh. She studied at Glasgow Conservatorium. And she arrived in Australia only two and a half years ago with her husband and two children and she has been engaged by the, the Australian Opera. She's currently singing the mother role in Hansel and Gretel of Humbertink in Melbourne and has recently covered and rehearsed the role of Isolde and actually sang at one of the final rehearsals with the Sydney Symphony Orchestra just recently. So here is the great land of hope and glory. Please welcome dramatic soprano Carol Ann Pedrick.
daytime cutaways. <laughs>
Smiley said we're going to do it in the domain next time. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, Angie, we'll just start with you. Um, and then maybe you can say something that leads on. Do I start now? Yeah. Right. Uh, just talk to Greg, if you would. Okay, this is uh, the Nexus Youth Concert. We're hoping to get 2,000 young people. This is our third concert probably our biggest and best and it's to celebrate the Mossman Centenary. That's right, Nexus. And uh, we call this one Shell Shock on the Move because the uh, previous two were held at uh, the St Leonard's Music Bowl down in North Sydney and of course it's moved here to Balmoral Park and we're having 12 young bands over a period of four hours and it's going to be a great night. Bands from all the schools all the way around uh, the lower North Shore area, the lower sort of North Side Sydney yeah. area, isn't it, Ange? Give young bands a chance to uh, get a bit of air. That's right, bands that haven't been had a lot of uh, playing experience, and uh, it's going to be great here. And as Angie said, at least 2,000 people. A big, big night we're hoping for. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Is that right? Yep. Nigel Brothers. The Brothers Lodge.
business while you're fiddling. Oh yes, and it's uh, Anne who's doing our lead role in Pride and Prejudice, who's going to sing for you, I Enjoy Being a Girl.
Spider. I want the boys and girls to put their hand up and put this dirty big spider up on the roof. He's trying to eat me. He could be there for a while. Okay, we move on to the 1960s, a little later than the Beatles. And it was the era of the soul singers in America, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, grandmas and grandpas. There were so many, there were too many to name. And we're gonna pick a few right now. And here we go with the soul. like you nearly at the end.
Thank you. 